What's up guys? In this video I'm going to explain to you what you need to understand before starting a dropshipping business. Now I'm sure you've watched a lot of YouTube videos or read comments on Twitter saying dropshipping is dead, there's no point trying. And reading all this stuff does make you think twice about starting a dropshipping business. But please remember, people love to be negative. They love to procrastinate and come up with every excuse under the sun not to have to do any work. There are loads of successful dropshipping companies out there making thousands of dollars every month. You might be thinking, but what about Amazon? Why would anyone buy a product from me with a two week shipping lead time when they can find exactly the same product on Amazon that will be shipped to their door in two days. And you know what? You're absolutely right. But these aren't our customers. We aren't targeting the people who spend ages researching a product to find out where they can find it the cheapest or get it the quickest. We're targeting the 44% of customers who impulse buy online. Don't forget, we're selling low price products and we're marketing them in the same way as supermarkets do when they place low price impulse buy items at the cash register. This has been a successful tool for supermarkets for decades. How many times have you picked up something from the cash register display when you're waiting to pay? Did you go on your phone after picking it up and Google the cheapest place to buy it, then put it back on the shelf? I'm guessing no. This is the same psychological pool we want to be using with our dropshipping adverts. The best dropshipping stores create an emotion in our customers and make them want to buy the product right then and there. If you do it well, your customers won't even think about trying to find the item elsewhere. They'll just click on the buy button. The most important thing you need to get right is the product. You need to find a product that is different and interesting. Something that stands out that people wouldn't have seen before. A product they have a link with that creates an emotion in them. People impulse buy due to emotion. So try selling something bland that is all over Amazon. Won't work. Find your niche. Then look for interesting and different products that tie into that niche. I recommend brainstorming to find the niche you want to target. Ideally you want something you know about. Insider knowledge really helps. If a product elicits emotion in you then you know you're onto a winner. Start with things you are interested in. Think about your pet, your hobby, your home, the books you read, the films you watch, your favourite artists or music. Really take some time on this and write down everything you come up with, no matter how niche or weird you might think it is. Trust me, there will be people in the world with the same interests as you. Now choose one of these niches, but don't throw away the others. Since dropshipping became popular, niche products have exploded and people are making thousands of dollars every month selling really specific designs to a really specific audience. Due to the power of the internet, you can now reach enough people around the world interested in this same tiny niche to make money selling very specific products to them. A lot of people say dropshipping is saturated, that everyone has tried it, the days of making money from it are long gone. Think about this in relation to what I just said about choosing the right product. Yes, certain products that are being dropshipped are saturated. You've probably noticed there will be a certain product that will explode into the marketplace for a few months. You'll see the ads for it all over Facebook and Instagram. People will jump on the bandwagon, coming late to the party, and try to dropship the same product. If this is what you want to try to do with dropshipping, then yes, your product is saturated, but that doesn't mean dropshipping other products is saturated. Think of it this way, if you walk down a high street and saw every shop selling the same product, would you think to yourself, wow, everyone is making money from this product, I'm going to open a new store next door and sell the exact same product, but with no goodwill, money for marketing, or customers, or reviews, yet I'm going to make tons and tons of money. No, you wouldn't, so why would you think this would work online? Now, if you walk down the same street and notice that everyone you passed had a mini schnauzer dog. I chose mini schnauzers as I have one. If you saw all these mini schnauzer owners, would you think maybe they would like to buy a blanket printed with mini schnauzers or a dog bowl with mini schnauzer faces on it or a pair of slippers in the shape of a mini schnauzer? I'm going to open a shop here and make lots of money and you know what? I bet my mini schnauzer you'd be right. Now if you like this content, please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell so you get notified every time I post a new video. The next thing you need to understand before starting your dropshipping business is in order to start making some sales, you will need to spend some money on advertising. This doesn't have to be a lot, but in order to get people to buy your product, they do need to know it's there. Let's go back to our fictional high street with all the mini schnauzers. Just imagine you've opened your store and miraculously you've managed to create your mini schnauzer products that you are excited to sell to all the people walking past with their mini schnauzers. But the only issue is you don't have any windows at the front of your store. That's right, you've rented the one store that has no windows. That's why your rent is so cheap. You do have the opportunity to put in some windows so the people with the mini schnauzers can see all the lovely mini schnauzer products that you're selling but that's going to cost money not a huge amount but some money so you decide nah they'll find me they'll know all these amazing mini schnauzer products are just behind the wall they're walking past every day there's that saying build it and they will come so they will just know that I have all these great products behind this wall I don't need to spend money on a window what a waste of money how do I know if they will even look in the window what if I spend this money on a window and no one comes into my shop I'll just spend my time creating more cool mini schnauzer style products
products and fill my shop with them. Someone is bound to start buying them soon. How do you think this would work out? Can you see why you need to set aside a bit of money for advertising? You need to be realistic with yourself before you start. Drop shipping can make you a lot of money and it's one of the cheapest ways to start a business that actually sells unique products. Can you imagine the upfront costs of opening a high street store and not only that, the tiny amount of customers that will walk past the store. For the cost of the setup compared to selling to the whole world on the internet for very little upfront costs. I don't have time to go through the best ways to advertise your dropshipping business in this video, but rest assured there are loads of videos on YouTube explaining the best ways to market your dropshipping products. All you need to do is search for them. So to summarize, in order to give yourself the best chance possible to create a successful dropshipping company, you need to 1. Find a niche that you have some knowledge of. 2. Find a product or products that are interesting, different, and will stir up emotions in people who are interested in this niche. 3. Make sure the products you're looking to sell aren't already oversaturated. 4. Set aside a bit of money to use for advertising. 5. Be realistic. Whilst dropshipping is a great business with minimum startup costs, it is still a business. It's not a get rich quick scheme. You will need to put some work into it. You will need to spend a bit of money. You will make mistakes. Just learn and adapt from your mistakes and never give up. The only way you fail is if you give up. I hope you enjoyed this video and it's inspired you to start your very own dropshipping company. I look forward to seeing you in my next video.